Hello, welcome back to the CV2 series. Today we're going to be making a more of a shorter video because we're going to work on one chip, which is the set value chip. The set value chip tells us what it does. It sets a value. To what you might ask? Well, to a variable, which we've learned in a previous video. So, if we go over to our circuits v2 tab, we should enable the filter and just choose a variable that we want. I'm going to choose an integer because it's the most simple. If you remember from the basic video, an integer, green pin, um, can store values that are only whole. So 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, the set value chip needs three things. It needs the power, which means it trigger, so that it triggers, a value, which is a value that is going to be stored in our variable, and the variable itself. So, with these two, we can directly link the variable to the variable pin. So, we tell the set value which pin to even work with. Like that. But we need two more things. We need to signal the start and to tell it what it should have in here. So, if you remember the button video, we are just gonna use one of the buttons I was presenting. We're going to use the basic button, the most commonly used, and we're going to connect this to our set value. Now, again, the set value chip now needs a signal, and the button is made for that. It outputs signals here and here, so when we press it and we release the button, we're going to use the press pin and connect it to the set value. Basically, when we press the, press the button, it'll output a signal from here, go into the set value, and trigger the circuit. We need one more thing. We need the value. And the value, again, is something we're going to be storing in here at the end. Now there's two ways you can set something in here. Basically, if the pin is like a little square like this, you can go to your wire tool, click once on it. You can manually input your value. So I'll just input something random, 63. And that is all the set value chip needs. So power, the value is going to be sending into a variable variable chip and the variable chip itself. So now, if we click the button, nothing really happens on screen, of course. In the background, it already it already did its job. So we pressed it, activated set value chip, it saw that it's working with this variable and sent this specific value in here. One well, now, how, how are we supposed to know how to you know see that? It's simple. It is with multiple chips, um, but today I'll be showing you the most simple way, or the most commonly used back when Circuits V2 first came out. We need two more chips, a two string and a show notification, and I'll tell you what these do in a second. So if we go over to page 15, we have the two string, and now we need show notification which is on page 13, there. So now we're going to hook up these, these two. Now the two string accepts any value, because as you know, a white pin is universal. It, any value, any value like this can be hooked up, hook up to it. But again, not the power pins, because the power pins are only meant for signals and not values. So, I'm going to hook up our variable to the two string pin. Why we why do we do that? Because we're sending whatever is in here to this chip. Two string now holds our value. And already turn in turn the integer whole number to a string which is text. And then if we look at our show notification, the show notification needs signal which we could get from the button but that is not really efficient. So it needs a signal in general. Now how do we how do we do that? Well look at look at how the set value chip is made. On the left side we have inputs on the right side we have outputs. See there's two power pins. The left power pin needs a value, I mean not a value, a signal. So when we signal the, uh, the chip to start to execute it's also going to output a signal as well, which means that when this is done, we can send the signal we have to the next chip. 
So it goes in order. So first step, second step, third step. Now, show notification needs one more thing. I mean, it doesn't necessarily need it, but you know, the value, the value here, which is string, again, text, that it, that it is going to display on our screen. So we'll take whatever we turn from that one value to text into the show notification. And there you go. So in the background, we click the button, the set value sends this specific value into the variable. The variable sends whatever it got to the toString. The toString turns it into text and the text goes into the show notification, which then gets later displayed on our screen. So let me show you. Let me press the button. Screen we see 63. Now to show you that it'll always display what is on this currently, we click it once because we can manually set it because it's plus square. Click it and we input, let's say 9,545. There, we click it, boom, 9,545. That's one of the ways you can see, you know, that, that, that it's actually working. But later on in the, oh, later videos, you'll see that there's other ways as well. So, thank you for watching. I hope this was clear enough for you. If you have any questions, go over to the comment section, ask, ask away, or join my Discord server, BOC, uh, in the description, and I'll try to answer your question as best as I can.